Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be talking about how you can add embossment and some kind of foil kind of feel to your model directly here in Keyshot. And this is a requested tutorial from the video which we did the other time known as Surface Imperfections with Keyshot. And this tutorial is actually requested from someone known as Nighthawk. So let's get right into it because it's going to be a very, very quick one. Once you have Keyshot open, we'll go ahead and click on File, Import, and I'm going to go ahead and import Bottle.fbx. So you can get free models from a playlist which we have on the channel known as Free Friday. So you can go ahead and check that out where you can find free textures, free models, you know, free sounds, free stuffs. All right. You can use them for your project for free. So we have this model imported directly here. Now let's add a glass, a very simple glass. Keyshot is the best when it comes to adding quick things like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and, okay, let's just drag this glass right on top. That looks good. Next thing which we need to do is just punch in a couple of wood. Uh, so let's find some nice wood. A mahogany doesn't look bad. So just going to go ahead and drop that there. I'm going to double click here on the material so we can come through and add some sort of reflective stuff so because this is going to be more like a red wine i guess so i'm just going to do that there and say okay okay so let's just zoom right in so let's just go ahead and zoom right in all right so this looks good and i'm just going to add some i'm just going to tune this down a bit all right yeah so that looks good let's also push this towards this part and push this towards this part not so much just about that point and this is perfect so the next thing which we need to do right now is to go ahead and attach a label now the label for this wine is where the embossment is going to happen so i'm going to show you guys two things you need to keep an eye for when you're trying to create this kind of embossment all right so i'm going to come through and click on the material graph which you're going to find here and with this material graph open next thing which i'm going to do is to come through add a material and make sure the material is either a diffuser or a flat depending on what you're going for and we're going to go ahead and plug this into the label all right so it's going to drop down and tell us it is a label at this point now the next thing which we need to do because i've already gone ahead to download two different labels but i think i like this one more i'm going to go through drag this and drop it directly here you know you can also import textures if you want i'm just going to drag and drop and drag this to color so with this in color you can find this thing here it's also good to note that you need something that has a high resolution this is actually not the best but of course it works and we can go ahead and play with it so with this there now next thing i'm going to do is just go ahead right now and change this so i wouldn't like this to wrap around so i'm just going to go ahead and zoom all the way back actually i think we should just set this to startup all right so we can have a lot of space and i'm just going to go ahead and move this here rotate this there okay so looks good looks good we like it all right so it is set to box which simply means it is right now in a box state so uh the texture mapping is using a box you can see that from here so if i just bring this here now you can see it's using a texture mapping of a box like you know thingy and we don't want this to happen this looks like dollars from afar and next off i will go ahead and first of all say i don't want this to repeat all right i don't want it to repeat vertically and I also don't want it to repeat horizontally. Okay. So we don't want it to repeat in any of these ways. All right. We can still go ahead and make this a planar if we want, but we don't want to play now. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to cylinder. So why I'm using cylinder is because the object itself is actually cylindric in nature. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a cylinder. And at this point, you can see where the whole mapping thing is happening. All right. So you can see where and how the whole mapping thing is happening. So you can pull this up if you want. You can pull it down if you want. You can actually just go ahead and play with this thing anyhow you want. So with this here, next thing which we need to do is to actually, I think it's best to actually uh, uncheck this because I would like to uh, uh, go ahead and, you know, properly measure this thing okay so the next thing which i need to do is to come through and just go ahead and spread this out a little bit reduce the height 
and also turn down the diameter actually i think that's best i think we should have done that earlier so turn down the diameter and do something like this and also do something like that all right this is good this is really really good okay so this stays in the middle let's go ahead and find a way we can get that middle to work now if you can't actually see the top view you can switch this uh, within the autographic or standard yes so you can check this out from the top view and you're gonna have that top view there okay so this is a good one okay I'm just gonna go ahead and move this all the way to this point and boom we have it okay so we have this here go up a bit please and okay now you can see our wine label is wrapped around the wine as good as we want it to be this is beautiful i like it okay so now with this here we need to go ahead and add displacement so you guys might have seen the video where i talked about displacement but just in case you haven't seen that video don't worry i'll give you a refreshing course so if you right click here and go over to geometry you can click on no nope, bubbles if you right click here and go over to geometry you can click on displacement and we can plug this displacement here okay so next thing we can do is we can go ahead and pick this right here this one we can pick it and plug it directly here but we want our displacement to take a black and white information color so to get the black and white information color we need to go over to utilities and then we need to go over to color adjust so we color adjust let's actually confirm yes so we color adjust we can come through and adjust this color as much as we want so we can connect this here and you know we can actually connect this here so that we can see what it looks like so i'm just going to double click here and turn the entire saturation down so it's going to give us a black and white color all right so with a black and white color we can now connect this now if you've checked out other tutorials which we've talked about i get to tell you guys that whenever it is white it has a plus one which is is going towards the positive value and whenever it is you know um black it is actually going towards the negative value all right so you need to actually think about this before you get to start doing your displacement okay because right now if we pick this and we connect this to the displacement and let's actually go ahead and turn this displacement to 0.01 i guess so 0 0.01 and click on this button here to execute that so let's just get this to execute okay and now we choose to take this label off you're going to notice that we're having that engraving directly here all right so you can notice the engraving that is happening here and you can also notice the engraving happening on the other side okay so if this is what you're going for if you want this to engrave inwards then it's cool for you to you know go ahead and play with this and use it for whatever you want but if you want the engraving to happen the other way around then you need to invert this you know this um what's it called you invert the texture so you can invert that texture by coming over here and clicking on color invert all right so your color invert here we can now say we have this color information from here we want to invert this color all right so just to test this let me go ahead and just connect this to the color you would now notice that we have these inversion happening here all right so you guys can see we have this so all of these parts let me just turn this off so you guys can see so all of these edges that you can see from here now that we've inverted this the edges are not going to be so visible because right now the edges that we will be having so i'm just going to connect this here so right now the edges here are all going to be black all right so that is exactly how you get to do it so for us to just punch this a bit more i'm going to increase the contrast just a bit actually i think i should just turn that down that was what i was supposed to do so turn this down and you know punch this value a bit up so you now have a complete black and white all right except for maybe tiny edges like this you now have a complete black and white so this i've been plugging this here is just so that we can see what we, we have going on here i'm just going to go ahead now pick this and connect this back 
to the displacement okay i will turn these out actually i'll connect this here so i'm taking the label out so we can see what the result looks like and now i'm going to click on this button to execute refresh or you know re-execute what the displacement looks like okay so now with that happening you know it's going to go ahead and rebuild the displacement and boom we have this now you can see this is coming all the way out compared to what we had before which is this when it was engraving inwards okay so previously it was engraving inwards right now okay um but when we do something like this and hit this one more time you see it's going to be engraving outwards so it's totally dependent on what you want to go ahead and create all right so it's totally totally dependent on what you want to go ahead and create so with this ready and you know ready to go we can now connect the main color over to this color okay and we now connect this here all right so now you can you know go ahead and have your very nicely looking stuff if you do not like the uh the amount of um displacement that you have you can always come over here and increase the amount of displacement but you've got to be careful so you don't blow things out of proportion so if i drop this to about four all right it's going to have a bit more weight to it now and you know we reevaluate this entire thing i think we're going to have some very interesting stuff let me take this out so we can see what we have here all right, so you can now see we have some very, very interesting stuff happening directly, you know, directly, directly there. Now, if you're still bothered about this, you can take them, you, you can, you know, go ahead and take this out and, you know, take it to things like Photoshop and clean it up. Or let's see what we can do here, because these are, these are actually the edges. You know, you can take them to other apps and clean them up. Let me just go ahead and increase this value just a bit more, just to see if we can get something much more cleaner okay all right and we can connect this here and yeah so that's basically it that's basically it i would like to know what you guys think about this and this is how you can add embossment to things like wine and and other stuff i mean if you want to go ahead and just create wine that doesn't have uh texture information of course you can go ahead and do that from from here if you want to add uh something that has texture information of course you can also go ahead and you know do that from here if you also want to add things that has foil or you want to add foil effects to this there are other ways you can still go ahead and add the foil so let's just quickly take that look so you can come over here and you can choose to use any of this all right so if we bring out a fractal noise like this and i get to connect this fractal noise to a label so you guys can let me go ahead and actually connect this to the color so you guys can see how much this fractal noise is happening all right so you can see all of this you can choose to use these as a displacement all right so you can choose to connect this all right as a displacement let's go up, let's go back and connect this one here so you can choose to connect that as a displacement and now when we you know re-evaluate this displacement you can actually get some kind of uh foily not really foil but you know you can go ahead and get those grungy looking stuff when we turn this out you're going to notice this foil like effect i think because of the material which we're using that's why you know you don't really get to see it that much okay so you can go ahead and add things like this directly in or onto your model okay so this is basically it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification if you want me to cover more stuff like this or you want me to cover extra stuff that has to do with things like this also put them in the comment section if you have issues with keyshot it will be so good if you can talk about this thing so that we can actually take a look at it together and see how we can go ahead and solve your day-to-day -day issues and if you want to learn more things about keyshot we have a couple of videos in the channel that you should actually go ahead and check out and if you want to get free stuff, there is also a complete free Friday playlist where you can find free content that you can use for free. And yeah, that's going to be about it. If you like this video, give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and share with your friends. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial updates, tips and tricks, things like this.
Peace.